Another one down. How'd it go? It's a long one. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby, hi. Gregory, hi. What are you doing here? Well, I was waiting to see you. We've got to go someplace and talk. Oh, I can't leave. Well, uh, please, let's sit down for a minute. Okay, I can't stay long, though. Well, long enough uh, to listen to me, I hope. Gregory, I really don't know what we have to talk about. I mean, we went over this, and I, I still want to end our relationship. Yeah, I know you said that, but uh, since I found out that your husband flew back to South America... Well, we went over that last night, but nothing's changed. But you didn't go with him. You didn't reconcile with him. So I took that to mean that there may still be a chance for us. <laughs> Am I right? I can't say that. I don't want this kind of a future. And I won't be responsible for divorce. Well, we covered a great deal of territory in such a short time. That's why I like working with you, Lucy. Oh, well, thank you, Amanda. You know, you taught me everything I know about this. <laughs> I think we did get a lot done today. But you know what? I hope you ladies keep your calendar kind of open, because we need to check out when we can schedule our next meeting. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, I'll do that. Oh, good. I know the holidays are going to be very busy. So. Oh, dear, 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 I wish you hadn't mentioned that. I want to think about it. <laughs> you know, I think this elevator is getting slower and slower. Does it always have this trouble? No. Maybe I should speak to Steve about it. Oh, isn't that your husband? Oh, um, well, um, I really must go. Come on, Claire, aren't you, guys, aren't you coming? Yes. Oh, well, thank you, ladies. I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Amanda, who is that nurse talking to Gregory? Do you know her? Yes, I do. Bobby Maya. Told she was on her way home. Uh, she will be and uh, is now. Hello, hello. Uh, there is someone to see you. Oh, Ruby, I bet because I didn't call her. Ruby, I'm sorry, I didn't get a minute. Oh, uh, Mrs. Howard just got here. Uh, what a surprise, Mrs. Howard. Mrs. Meyer. I didn't uh, realize you two had met. Never officially. May I take your coat? That won't be necessary. Would you like to sit down? I think not. And I think I'm going to go upstairs. Okay. Well, if you won't sit down, what can I do for you? Clearly, you came here for a reason. Yes. To take a good look at you. To see where you live. How you live. To try to understand just what it is my husband sees in you. I see. I'd hope that he'd have the good taste to have a, an affair, or shall I say a fling, with a lady. Evidently, I was wrong. Yes, you were. As difficult as it may be for you to believe, Mrs. Howard, your husband fell in love with a woman. It wasn't a fling. It wasn't even an affair. I'd expected you to deny it as much as he will. Look, there's nothing to deny. Gregory and I were friends for a while, but even that's over now. He was a very lonely man. He needed somebody to talk to. I don't even think there's any point in explaining this, because there's nothing to explain. And you're not going to believe anything I say anyway. So please, go on. I won't interrupt you again. I hope you'll be able to hear everything I have to say. Divorce is out of the question. I have no intention of leaving my husband, and I won't allow him to leave me. I'll fight you tooth and nail. And I do know how to fight. Like my husband, I win. I'll never give him up to someone like you. Never. I know my husband. He'll come to his senses. He's a public figure. He's loyal to the people who love him and believe in him. Besides, he'd never survive a messy divorce. Save the campaign speech, okay? You don't know the man that you're married to at all. You underestimate Gregory. And he's a much better man than you deserve. 
I hope that someday he finds someone to love him the way he deserves to be loved. But it's not going to be me. Simply because I have no intention of ever seeing him again. Now, I don't know where that leaves you. But that leaves me free to tell you to get the hell out of my house. If you were half a woman, you might have a chance to get him back. Too bad. You're not even that. Tiffany was right. I really want to be alone. So why don't you just go, Julian? Honey, everyone else has turned their back on you. I can't leave you. Don't you get it? I have destroyed everything that means anything to me, and all that there is left is to just say goodbye. I don't believe you. It can't be what you want. <sighs> what do I have to do? Do I have to shout? Do I have to scream? What? You've done all that for weeks. It hasn't worked yet. Honey, don't you get it? No matter what you do, I'm not going to let you go. I can't. Just go. Please, leave. No matter what happens, I love you. Just tell me that you... I didn't really mean to go through with it, sweetheart. I was just trying to shove her along a little bit. Maybe a cool drink will clear my mind. You know, honey, I just don't understand your... your approach today. I mean, first Robert, now Cheryl. What? You know, I'd like to give those two a boot in the you-know-where. I do know that Cheryl is over Julian, though. I'm sure of that. Oh, you know that for a fact. Though. I know that for a fact. I'm just not sure she knows it yet. And obviously, Robert doesn't know it. Then you're going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him anything. He won't listen to a word I said. You saw that this morning. So you figure by dropping Cheryl like the proverbial hot potato, you're going to prod her along? Honey, I don't know. I'm not thinking. I'm just going from feelings, you know? Feelings. Everybody's working from feelings. Cheryl is. Robert is. Can you imagine? I mean, can you really imagine what this woman went through? And now she thinks she's going to lose Robert on top of all that? Honey, this time she probably has. Uh-uh-uh. Not for long, sweetheart. They will get back together. Look, uh, don't count on that, huh? Oh, really? I bet you, okay, so Dom, if they do get back together, they belong together. Come on. If it happens, I'll start believing in miracles, okay? Well, sweetheart, the Jeromes aren't the only ones with a master plan. And just what are you cooking up in that fertile mind of yours, huh? I've been cooking it, honey, and it's ready to be served at the wedding. They're calling it quits, and you're talking about a wedding? Not their wedding, honey, our wedding. Just think about it. Now, think about it. Robert is going to be standing right next to you as your best man. How do you think he's going to feel? How in the hell would I know how he's going to feel? Well, I know how Cheryl will feel. She's going to be my maid of honor. I know how that feels. Well, that, be... that is certainly not going to help her get Robert back. Honey, if that wedding doesn't do it, what is going to do it? It has a major effect on people, believe me. <sighs> not on Robert, it doesn't. Oh, come on. Robert is a cream puff when it comes to family and friends and celebrations. You've seen that. And he loves parties. We're going to have lots of parties. We're going to have lots of rehearsals. And the best man and the maid of honor are always thrown together. And if they're not, I'll see to it that they are. Honey, that's not too subtle, but it's sweet. Well, it will work. I know it'll work. Sweetheart, I, uh, I love you for even trying, but I really don't think that things are going to change no matter what you do or anybody else does. Robert is never going to forgive Cheryl. You're here. Good. Besides me having to look for you. All you had to do was call. I'm not your enemy, Commissioner. Hey, you're nothing to me. Nevertheless, I have a few things to say to you. I'm all ears. First, I want you out of my town and fast. Otherwise, I'm going to lock you up even faster. If that's what you wanted to do, you could have what's stopping you. One reason and one reason only. The libraries. 
sort of thought you'd say Cheryl. Anna and Duke have had the stench of the mob in their lives for long enough. So I wanted out, and I wanted to stay out. Is that all? You and your whole stinking family are a bunch of users. You used Duke. You used Cheryl. Granted, Duke was naive and idealistic. What drove Cheryl, I'll never know. And right now, I don't really care. You're a hell of a cop, Commissioner, but uh, what gives you the right to be her chief? Don't talk to me about rights, son. She was willingly involved with your filth. The fact that she's still seeing you proves that. Well, I could try to convince you otherwise. Don't bother to try. Okay. Is that all? One more thing. I want to thank you. You've saved me an unnecessary elevator ride. Thank you.